How do we stay motivated when following our passions? I'll be talking about that today. Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner and welcome to another episode of Extraordinary Women TV. This is a show where we talk about putting our dreams into action. My first guest is Stephanie Joanne. She's a celebrity personal trainer, and you've probably seen her on City Line. She's going to give us some really great tips today. Well, Stephanie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Ah, it's great having you here. Now, you have a beautiful glow on you today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you have that healthy glow. We see you on City Line. We, we've, uh, I've read a number of your articles um, over the last little, little while, anyway, in the last quite, you've been writing for what, a couple of years now? I think? For a couple of years, right. yeah, but it's only been, you know, the more you do, the more you get. So it's, the exposure has really been snowballing now, so it's been a lot of fun having those um, platforms. How did you get to where you are as a celebrity personal trainer I mean, that's I something many people dream of well I, th I think it's just really doing what you love I mean I wasn't always personal training and, and I was in corporate fitness I was selling memberships and having um, you know higher level jobs and selling memberships it's business wearing your suit and then I had to stop and say um, I started in the industry and I went to school I studied kinesiology um, at university and I started because I wanted to help people I started because I wanted to um, change people's lives and I wanted to you know be on the gym floor in my tights all day and now I'm in an office selling memberships and although it was a great job in terms of uh, making a living it wasn't really my passion so it, it really is as simple as doing what you love. So how did you get into doing a lot of work now on television? So I was working um, at a fitness club mm -hmm. and then uh, they through having some higher profile um, personalities as my clients they the news would come and interview me and then they would ask me questions about how they were getting results and I just loved the camera as soon as they had the mic on and everything was good I was just I fell in love with the camera um, and so you know I just wanted to know more and more and more and then how can I get better at this and and then I would come up with all these ideas for segments and, and just I love to create content and talk to people and then the feedback is inspiring when someone um, listens to something I say and they and it, they come back with feedback and say you know what stuff that really helps me it's like all day I'm thinking of you know what more can I put out there so it's just been it's just been a, it's, it's been a blast now people hire you to get and stay motivated yeah so that they can look real and feel great um, how do you do it for yourself? I mean, are, th are there days where you think, oh my God, I, I don't know where I'm going to find this motivation? That's, um, that's the journey, right? And it's been, mm -hmm. a, it's been a journey for me also. Um, at the beginning, you, you sort of, you brainwash yourself into thinking, right, I, I'm a trainer and I'm, I'm fit all the time and I eat really clean and it's chicken and broccoli and, and you think that's the lifestyle that you have to live and then you find yourself, I fall off the wagon too. What happens when I want to go and, and, and have a burger? Or what happens when I want to go and enjoy a bottle of wine with one of my girlfriends? Now I'm being a hypocrite. So I had to stop and, and really reevaluate and say, what, what am I preaching, right? And am I, am I practicing what I'm preaching? Because that becomes so important, especially the more, um, the more eyeballs on you, the more impressions. You really, really have to be yourself. So, so this has changed for me. So I'm, I'm honest in my communication with my clients and with viewers and with anyone that I'm on my own journey with fitness. It's not easy. There's days that I go to the gym and I really don't want to be there. So as much as um, my clients lean on me, I lean on my network of people. You know, I'll call someone and say, you know what, I'm not feeling so good. Can you come work out with me today? Or um, at the end of the day, it, it it is part of my job, the feeling of, there's nothing worse to me than not feeling fit. So, so I know how to, I, I have the tools to get back there when I'm not there, but there definitely comes and I want to be completely honest with that. And so what do you do if somebody that comes to you and says, I just absolutely cannot do it. I am just really at a time in my life where, um, you know, I, they're going through all sorts of challenges. Yeah. They're yeah. feeling blue. Yeah, life is tough, and I I know through experience, and I know through my clients that the, the tougher life gets, the more you have to commit to taking care of yourself. Um, at the toughest stages of my life, I've I've lost my mother. I've been through some 
I've been through some very hard times. I know that if I don't take care of my body and if I let go this way, everything starts to roll. So even in times where I'm so busy, I have to shut everybody out. I book my appointment with myself. My workout with my, myself is my most important client. I do not cancel for anything. Even if I need to walk on the treadmill, clear my mind, or I'm gonna get an intense workout, you have to schedule that time. And when people are not motivated and not into it, I think that we have this idea of working out and fitness and she's the trainer that I'm going to say, go lift weights and walk on the treadmill, run on the treadmill. If that's not something you want to do and if that doesn't excite you or inspire you, then don't do it. There's so many forms of exercise, there's so much that we can do that you, you, you will find something, some form of movement that you enjoy. So as a trainer, I'm, you know, I'm to the point where if you come to me and you say, you know what, Stephanie, I'm, I've done the treadmill, I've done the dieting, I've, I've lifted weights and it's not my thing, then I'll say, Shannon, let's go find something else. Maybe you want to go boxing. Maybe you want to go rock climbing. Just find some form of movement that you enjoy. And, and that's my responsibility as a fitness professional to say, if, you don't, if working with me isn't giving you a better quality of life, then here you are. These are the other options. Let's go find you one. So the key is movement, moving the body, is that yeah, it? So, well, the, the key is movement and, and doing yeah. something consistently. I think we're so focused on, you know, give me the program, what's the method, what's the way. If you do anything for a consistent amount of time, more than you're doing now, you're going to see results. And then you start to build on that, right? The key is people don't stick to something. So find something that you love, find something that motivates you and that you don't consider exercise, and all of a sudden you will, you'll find that you can't wait to go do it. And if you, never, if you don't have that feeling, then you haven't found it. Keep looking. Do you love what you do? Absolutely. And on that note, we're going to take a quick break, and that means it's my Good to Know Minute. And I know you've got a great success tip. Yeah, my success tip is really, it's really taking care of your network. Um, I feel that the people around me are my everything, and it doesn't matter how successful I become or how much I work out. If I don't take care of my relationships and take time with my relationships, then everything falls apart. So it's the people around me and uh, spending time with them. And that's good to know, and thanks for that. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, more on Extraordinary Women TV. So stay where you are. Welcome back to Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm speaking with Stephanie Joanne, a celebrity personal trainer based here in Toronto. Um, Stephanie, when... when someone's lost and they're really down and out in their life uh, or not necessarily just not not de necessarily down and out but they're they're lost they're at a time of transition or confusion mm -hmm. um, and you know maybe they're thinking taking care of the body is really has really gone off the radar what do they do what's the first thing well, I mean it's never going to be the right time right so I think you have to really and unfortunately what happens is people get to the point where it's too late Right, so if you're thinking that you want to be healthy or you're thinking that you want to try exercise, there's no, you don't have to have the whole program or magic solution or know what to do. It can be anything. So it's so simple. Just get a piece of paper out, find a pen, or nowadays on our smartphones, and write down a list of five things that require you to move your body that you could consider yourself doing. Right? So if you, you know, if you have a spouse, would you go dancing? If you have a dog, would you walk the dog? If, you, if there's a, a rock climbing place down the street and you said you've been driving by and wondering what's inside, I'm going to go check it out. So just write down a list of things and then you get your calendar out. Right? We're so busy. If you have a, you know, an appointment to have an oil change with your car, it's in your calendar and you have to go. Just like our appointment here today is scheduled in our calendar. I've made a commitment for my own schedule to work out later. Everyone looks at me and says, Steph, you're so busy, you're so busy. Those are biz parts of my busy day, right? So we need to look at ourselves and say, treat yourself like a job. It, it's another job, absolutely. But the amount of time it takes to just get it in and slot yourself in versus the amount of time we spend thinking about, wishing about, um, it just pays off. And then in the long run, the, the quality of life, knowing that, that I am taking care of my body and the quality of life you know, for, for my clients when they have that moment of, it's such a, it's such a sense of relief when you're there. Um, and it, just, it really just becomes like, it's like brushing my teeth. It's the easiest part of my entire day. So you just really have to schedule it in. So you know, a lot of uh, career women find it, it very useful and helpful to have a mentor. Yeah. Do you have a mentor? I have many. Mm. I have many. I have uh, people in fitness, people in business, um, 
met people that, uh, you know, Tracy Moore is one of my clients and she's the host of City Line and when it comes to a woman who is powerful and, and puts her family first yet is, you know, she's, she's when, you, when you talk balance, you know, you're talking Tracy, so I absolutely look at her and, and the whole relationship thing we were talking about, um, she's, a mother, she's a mother and a wife first, but she's a very powerful um, woman, you know, so it's, it's that, that I look up to her in that sense and then I have, you know, business mentors and, and you know, I, I listen to everybody. So what are you working on now? <laughs> So um, what, I'm, what I'm doing now is it's gotten to the point with my business that I'm not able to train every client that comes to me or I'm not able to, you know, unfortunately to, to get to everybody. So I've put together a really cool network of people and, you know, over my, my time in the fitness industry, I've, you know, I've met some really great friends and, you know, whether some are, are vegan um, yoga girls and then I've got the girls that do the boot camps and then I've got, you know, the bodybuilders. So I've got a really cool network of people. So in line with my idea of clients have to just find the, the, the lifestyle and the option that works for them, um, I'm able to sort of, you know, refer people out to different, um, to different partners and, and so I'm creating a really cool network and together we're, um, we've already signed up for some, some charity stuff and I'm really excited to be teaming up with some great partners and, and with my, um, with my media presence, I am able to have those relationships and in exchange, you know, I, I want people to know that there's not just one way. Right, so I think that's the mistake people are making is they want to make a change and they're vulnerable because they want to make a change and then they reach out to someone based on, you know, advertising or based on Google or based on a referral. But that person that you might get on the other end, I'm, and I'm not downplaying anyone's services, or it might not be for you. So I think that as fitness professionals, we have to stop and say, you know, 67% of this country is overweight. Clearly, we're doing something wrong. I have to be confident enough in my abilities to say, you know what, I've got the fitness DVD, I've got the content out there and I've got the methods, but if my client is not enjoying or is not, not loving what I'm doing or this isn't working for them and they're going to enjoy and be happier with the vegan lifestyle, with the yoga lifestyle, then I have to say, that's my girlfriend, I love her, I can recommend her, go ahead and do it. Or if my client, you know, is going to be motivated because they want to get, you know, do a fitness competition and bodybuilding show, that's not my choice, that's not how I train my clients. If that's what's gonna make you happy, and if that's what's gonna fulfill your life and give you the missing piece of the pie, then here is my friend. Well, Stephanie, I have really enjoyed uh, speaking with you. Thank you for being here today, and I wish you all the best. Thanks for having me. Well, for more information about Extraordinary Women TV and my guests, and to watch past episodes, I invite you to visit the website at extraordinarywomentv.com. And I'd love to stay in touch with you. Join me on Twitter for an empowering stream of Extraordinary Women TV updates. On Facebook, you can connect with me at Extraordinary Women TV. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm Shannon Skinner. See you soon.